Robin, now that we've jarred your feelings loose and annoyed the audio engineer, let's put Robin on idle for a moment. Bobby Wygant, born in Lafayette, Indiana. An honors graduate from Purdue University, she earned degrees in broadcasting and psychology. That's a nice combination to have. She's been on the air with KXAS Channel 5 close to 30 years. Bobby's had a Dateline program, magazine type show, emceed the local coverage of the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon for over 10 years. But for over the last 20 years, and what most people would think of when Bobby's name is mentioned, is entertainment reporting. In the Dallas-Fort Worth market, Bobby Wygant is synonymous with what's happening in entertainment, both locally and nationally. She was the first film and stage critic on television in the Southwest and among the first in the entire country. Bobby can be seen on the 5 and 6 o'clock newscasts giving entertainment reports, commentaries, and reviews. She also presents a monthly movie special, but that's not all. John, another thing I do that gets so much reaction, and it started as a fluke, an absolute fluke, is the movie Trivia on Tuesday noon program. I love trivia. Well, I said, is that going to be my epitaph that I will, you know, she did great movie trivia. Is that going to be, <laughs> is that going to be my reputation forevermore? But it, I, it started because I was assigned to do a commentary at noon on Tuesdays. And one night, I'm sitting there, it's midnight, and I'm sitting at home, and I just, I'm just dry. I just cannot think of anything. And somehow this idea came to me. I thought, why not? And in about five minutes, I had ripped off, you know, a dozen or more. Did it. People love it. And now I do it almost every Tuesday. Occasionally, we have a little commentary if it's something timely. But every place I go, we love your movie trivia. Bobby, when you do a film review, and uh, you go to see the movie, then you come back and you do a review on it, and you say, gee, this movie was great, and people say, Bobby, I want to see that movie, it's terrible, or you say, oh, this movie was terrible, don't go see it, or just, it's horrible, and people go, Bobby, that movie was great. Does that happen to you? It does. People call. And, um, gee, I wish I could remember uh, the particular film. I had a young man call not too long ago, and I had been kind of rough on a film, and just you know, gave it, I think, one star. And this guy called, and he said, Bobby, lighten up, lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. I loved his, his opening line. <laughs> you can put three critics together and get three different opinions. You can get one who hates it, one who loves it, one who says, that's not so bad. So I said, that's fine. I said, call me again sometime. We'll talk <laughs> movies again. Well, is there anything or checklist you go to when you go to see the movie that you kind of have a little checklist in your mind that probably in my mind, and I do take notes. I have skirts to prove where I, you know, when the pen runs off the skirt. Um, but I, I uh, consider a lot of things. I'm very concerned with, is this real? Now, even if it's a fantasy, a fantasy to, to work has to be based in reality, or else you, you don't believe it. Um, uh, performances. Uh, are the people properly cast, or is somebody so miscast that you just can't buy it at all? Uh, do the people seem to be acting, or do they really seem to be the people? Um, I'm looking very much at the technical end of it. Does this filmmaker know what he's doing? Or do we have a bunch of lousy looking shots and worse edits? And I look at art direction, I'm very tuned in to it is is the setting proper and really the technical technical points oh yes oh yes Bobby's interviewed many big stars and celebrities Rock Hudson Bob Hope Carol Burnett and Milton Berle to name just a few you go on an interview and you can see that this person is given umpteen interviews today and you're gonna have some problems is there anything you do to try to get energy pumped into that person the first thing I do is when I go in there, I try to think that they're just so eager to do this interview, I, I kind of psych myself up because I'm excited about it or I wouldn't be there. And I, I try to, you know, transfer that to them. Case in point, Robin Williams. I get really good interviews with Robin, but I always try to think of some kind of offbeat thing, you know, <laughs> to push a button that'll get him going. When when I begin to feel that he's done all he's going to do on that particular thing, 
I will now bring up Zachary, his son, and that just is like a shot of adrenaline for Robin. He loves to talk about Zachary. Does he have your quick wit? Does he try to be funny and... He tries sometimes, but he's, he's real dry. He has his own humor. He's very... He has a way of... I smell poop and it's coming from your direction. He has... <laughs> little inside joke for people who know. <laughs> your breath, who died? <laughs> a lot of people would go, Bobby, I would love to have your job to meet all those people and go those places. Do you ever sometimes kind of sit back and go, gosh, this is so lucky to... Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Absolutely. I just thank God every day that... John, think about it. You, you like what you do, I can tell. Think about the people who get up every day, Monday through Friday, go to work and sit there and think, I hate what I'm doing. That's more than half of your life. Mm. I feel very blessed, John, that I got into this business. It's been good to me. I hope I've given something to it and to the people who watch. And the nicest thing in the world is when people come to me on the street or wherever and say, oh, Bobby, you've been in our living rooms for such a long time. We've, we just feel like you're a friend. That makes it all worthwhile.